Hey, hey, I'm up. Hey, you guys. Don't get me anymore. You guys, get your drinks. Get your food. Get ready. And let's have a great auction. Let's go. Say Bobcats. Go Bobcats. Jenny? Jenny. I truly love the kids. I was lonely without them. It was a long couple of months without the kids. Oh, the amazing staff um, that really helped to bring a sense of community. It's the support system I have with all the uh, administrative staff and all the teachers. It's been one of the biggest blessings I have since my son does go here and having that support really does help me out as a single father. Tiene un parque. It has a playground. At the playground. Playing outside on the playground. It's the playground. And I love it more when there's kids on the playground with me. The community and all the like activities that they've offered here. The community. The loving community and all my friends. Um, the community. You can always build a really great community and your teachers are always really nice. You can form bonds with your teachers. You get to meet new friends. The friends you get at the school. That everyone always has a friend. I love my teachers and my friends. We love the teachers! The teacher, all the teachers are nice. They, um, all the kids are nice. All the teachers are nice and they're always fun to be around. The teachers, mostly. They're amazing at their jobs. They're so nice. They make me interested in what I want to learn. I love the teachers and it's just a fun place here. These are the great teachers. And all the teachers are super nice. The teachers. My students. I have the best students ever. I love the kids. Every year I have such great students. Like me? Yep, like this one. <laughs> and I just love seeing everyone from four years old to 14 years old every day. Bill Roberts is my happy place. It has all the kids that I love. It has the adults that I love. We have a fabulous principal who, who goes out of her way to make sure we're all taken care of. And the neighborhood and the parents. I love the team that I work with and I love the kids and families that I work with. The parents make it an absolute cozy village and the teacher we just, we, we love it. We love the home. How welcoming we are and willing to pitch in when the going gets tough. It is the sense of community and how everyone supports one another. The families and the kids. I love the kids, I love the families, I love the staff, I love everything about Bill Roberts. We're gonna miss Bill Roberts. A lot of people that you can look up to and talk to. Just a very good school and I love it here. It's uh, kind of feels like home. How easy it is to talk to people and how inviting the environment is. This is my second family. It's K through eight and it's the best school ever and it's really comfortable and nice and awesome. That was a long sentence. I love everything about Bill Roberts. I love the staff. I love the kids, um, the building, the atmosphere. It's a wonderful place to be, to work, to have my student, my daughter be a student here. It's, it's home. And on that note, I would like to introduce you guys to our MC for the night, the fabulously fun Alex Scher. Alex. Hey guys! Oh, drat! Ah, uh, okay, hold on. Um, uh, uh, filters, guys. I am not a bobcat. I, I am not a bobcat. I am. I prop. Okay, hold on a second. I got it. I got it. Oh, jeez. Breathe, breathe. Okay, filters. Got it. Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. Okay, I think I got it. How do I look? Okay. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Alex, as Nikki said, and I am a very proud Bill Roberts parent. Todd's and my son Bennett goes here. He's in fourth grade and we've been here since kindergarten and absolutely love, I feel like I'm gonna cry already, love, love, love this school. And clearly other people do too because we have almost 500 people here tonight. And I don't think it's because it was free and I don't think it's because of this snowmageddon, which it's not. I think it's because we all love this place and maybe because we can be in our PJs. This is, as Nikki was talking about, a crazy year and tonight has been crazy too, but we're gonna make it happen. So there are a few devices that you need tonight. You need your computer to watch the auction or auction, auction, to auction. You need your phone to bid, which many of you are doing. So step off the Breckenridge trip and the wine tasting, please. Thank you. And you need, well, let's see, ideally, just in case, if you have like a circa 1990 pager, just like for an emergency or something, just go dust that off. An iPad would be good for just, you know, a backup. And then just in case, because the electricity might go out, if any of you has one of these lying around, which you probably don't. And it turns out, actually, you don't need this. You don't need this. You don't need the iPad. You definitely don't need the pager. You just need your computer and your phone. Oh, and maybe a drink. That sounds good to me. Or actually, maybe two for me. I couldn't decide. Which, mm. Ah! Okay. <clears throat> I didn't do a great job with that one. I have to remind you guys that the silent auction closes at, what? Seven. 7 p.m. Okay, 7 p.m. sharp. We'll try to give you reminders. Just keep looking at your phone. Look at your watches if you wear a watch. And at 7 o'clock is the deadline for the photo contest. So you can email your photo to billrobertsauction at gmail.com and be entered to win a prize. Show off your auction outfit or your pandemic pod photo if you're like super pandemic cash or you went black tie because you're like, what the heck? Why not? I haven't been able to do it for an entire year. So go ahead and get those in by seven o'clock. And if you just want to share them, you can share them on Facebook or Instagram at hashtag BR hindsight is 2020. BR hindsight is 2020. And as you know, if you need tech help, you can contact Aaron with Boulder Events. They're the ones who do all the logistical and techno technological stuff that is really fun. 970, her number is 970-213-7145. Before we get into it. I really have to thank the woman you just heard from, Nikki Parrish, and her right-hand woman, A.D. Tate. Okay, these guys, no joke, have probably been working on this auction 40, 50 hours a week. I mean, it's cuckoo crazy. It has not been easy. And they have a whole committee of people who have been working hard on it too. So Nikki and A.D., you guys are just, I can't even... I can't even believe it. So hopefully you're happy about the way it's going so far. We have no idea because we can't see you or hear you, but the chat is very helpful. So let us know what you think about tonight so far. I also have to thank our sponsors. Now you saw the sponsor slide. You saw how many sponsors we have. This has been a hard year for everybody, not the least of which are companies and these companies and people have come through. They have made fundraising easier for us. They've taken the pressure off of us because there's a lot to do to keep our school amazing. So, I mean, these, these sponsors are in our neighborhood. A lot of them are in our neighborhood. A lot of them are Bill Roberts families. And we just absolutely cannot thank them enough. So a huge, huge, huge shout out to, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Hold on, guys. Sourdough. Ooh, ah! It's only my 27th loaf since May, but I have a feeling this is the one. I think, I mean, my husband keeps saying things like sour don't is more like it. And I'm like, ah, very funny. I don't think that's funny at all. I am trying. Honey, come here. I made another one. So, what do you think? Oh, no, not another one. Arg! My goodness, what the, where's the love, people? Ugh. Okay, calm. One of the cool things about tonight 
is that we have people here from all over, not just Colorado. So I thought it would be neat if in the chat, you can say where you're calling in from or where you're joining us from. I know my in-laws are out there in Ohio and my mom and my sister and my niece in Atlanta. I hope you're out there. So let us know where you are joining us from. And next, this is fun. I loved doing this. So the reason that we decided to do the teachers and the staff and what they wanted to be when they grew up is that our theme is hindsight is 2020, right? So don't forget the slide that we've been showing you throughout the night. You have a couple more seconds to jot down your answers. Personally, I think that Mr. E wanted to be a cowgirl and mm, Trish Lee, probably an NBA mascot. What do you guys think? I don't know. We will see. Check it out. We're going to show you a video with the answers right now. A cowgirl and ride a horse. A firefighter. I wanted to be a veterinarian. I wanted to be a singer like Karen Carpenter. <laughs> I wonder how many people at the auction know who Karen Carpenter is. I know it. We've only just begun to live. I wanted to be an FBI agent. A mascot for an NBA basketball team. A model or a teacher? <laughs> How about a model teacher? <laughs> oh, and guess what? You're nailing it! A hockey player. A fighter pilot, I wanted to be a baseball player, I wanted to be a rock star, a writer for like a travel magazine. Yeah, a professional baseball player. <laughs> I've always wanted to be a teacher. I've always wanted to be a teacher, it never changed. Um, but at some point I also wanted to be a principal. And I'm still learning how to be the best principal I can. Just post it. Just post it. I am absolutely gonna get a subscriber, a TikTok subscriber tonight. What? Hey! Get! Oh my goodness! Anyway, how'd you do? Did anybody get them all right without cheating? Anyone? Okay, that was so fun. Miss Beckwith, the cowgirl. Can you just see that? Yeah. And I gotta say, Eric, I'm glad they ended up with us since you had a lot of aspirations. My personal favorite, however, was, de was definitely Karen Carpenter, the singing Karen Carpenter. I sang some Karen Carpenter back in the day, but for me, it was probably more of like, summer loving had me a blast. So, okay, anyone, 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 you know. You know what that is, right? Only like the best musical ever, or at least one of. All right, so let us know how you did. Now, guys, <laughs> officially, wow, that was loud. Officially, the silent auction ends in about 13 minutes. Alexa, what time is it? Wow, she's slow. I think we have about 13 minutes left. Seven o'clock is when the silent auction ends, done. And also that is the time by which you need to get your photos into Bill Roberts auction uh, at gmail.com, okay? And if you need tech help, don't forget, you can reach out to Aaron from Boulder Events. You can also share your photos on Instagram and Facebook. So guess what? I am very excited now to introduce you to our esteemed auctioneer. Jim Gers is one of the best. We are so excited to have him. He has maybe more energy than I have. Actually, I think he might. And that's crazy. So Jim, are you ready to help us get through the rest of this night? I certainly am. How are you doing? Good. Excited to yeah, see you. It seems like you're having a great time. I'm super excited. 
And uh, I don't know about the snowmageddon. It seems like it's starting off pretty slowly, but uh, you know, we'll see. Yep. Well, By the way, I love the necklace. Love the necklace. <laughs> so Alex, wasn't that fun? Are you coming back, Alex? I am. Uh, yeah, just hold on a second, Jim. Hold on, hold on. Three, Man. two, one. I, uh, I'm thinking these aren't really that heavy. I might need a refill. Anyone? But you know what? I honestly, I don't know why anybody, Jim, seriously, I don't know why anybody would go to the gym. I mean, everything is just so convenient right here at home. I mean, oh, I'm actually supposed to be doing something now. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Saturday night. Okay, the auction is over soon. Alexa, again, what time is it? It's 6.49 p.m. Oh, 11 minutes mm -hmm. till the auction is over. 11 minutes till the auction is over and the deadline to get your pictures in if you want to be eligible to win a prize for the best picture of the night. All right, we gotta show you another video. And this one was fun because again, going with the hindsight is 2020 theme. I thought it would be fun and interesting and poignant and many other things to ask some Bill Roberts students what they're most looking forward to when the pandemic is over and what, if anything, they will miss about this time. So here is that video. Sports being like normal again. Uh, traveling again. Doing Shakespeare with Miss J. Going to the aquarium. Uh, going to sports games. Stepping my face with food. Going to pools. Going to the pool. Swimming. And seeing my best friend again. To play with my friends. To be closer to my friends. Hug all my best friends again. To getting to visit my grandparents. Hang out with friends. Have everybody back who we'll play with each other. I can have friends. Going to my aunt's house in Peru and baking cakes with her. I'm only gonna be able to hug my fourth grade teachers. That I'm going to be able to see my friends and not have to wear a mask. That we can all hug each other. Going to visit my family. You, like hug my friends so hard. That I can hug my friends and see their smiles. Playing at my friend's house, that's big Elliot, with a bow and arrow, shooting them, having a no gun fight. Playing at my friend's house, that's big Elliot, with a bow and arrow, shooting them, having a no gun fight. Um, I won't miss um, anything. Not one thing. Nothing. Nothing. Not really anything because um, this year was a pretty tough year. Probably just like being lazy. Staying home and playing video games. Getting to wear whatever we want to school. Probably all the family time. Staying home with my family a lot. Even though it seems really harsh this year, it's actually bringing people a lot, a lot of people together. I was actually trying to get together and trying to figure out how to get the pandemic stopping so we could make a better place. Mm, having to stay six feet apart. So you like staying six feet apart? Yes. Because that way, people aren't like hitting you and punching you, like fools. Oh my gosh, that video. <laughs> Alex, uh, that was so incredible. I mean, I mean, what did, what did you think of that? It was so cute seeing the kids say things like, I, I can't wait to hug my friends so hard. I can't wait to see their faces again. My personal favorite was the six feet apart. where The girl says, I don't have to be worrying about the boys now saying six feet apart. That is so awesome. Yeah, it so, was the one time I had to ask a follow-up question like, wait, you want to be six feet apart? <laughs> right. But her explanation was perfect. Yep. 
It was so great. So listen, um, I heard you make quite a few of these different types of videos and everything for sport, for schools, for families. Um, can you tell us a little bit about that and kind of fill us in on that? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I just, I, I get a little bit cuckoo crazy. My husband will tell you, I get in this zone. I love making videos. And actually it's funny when I was looking back for like hindsight footage for tonight, I went back and looked at all the videos I've made for Bill Roberts and I've made 23 for Bill Roberts. Wow. Okay. I didn't realize that including, including tonight's. So that's kind of crazy. And I, I do, yeah, I make them for friends and family. In fact, Tom and Mary, my in-laws are out there this year. I made them, I strung together pictures and videos from holidays past because we couldn't be with them this year. They're in, in Ohio and gave that to them as their gift. And, and actually, I don't know if this is, if I can do this, but and maybe Trisha from Boulder events, you can be the one to tell me this. I, do you think that I could offer this as a last minute, maybe a auction prize just for tonight that I could offer to make a video or a slideshow for a couple families here tonight for and the money goes to Bill Roberts? I love these last minute ads. You're my favorite, <laughs> just my favorite, Alex. And of course, of course. What what would you like to do? Trish could do anything. Um, that wasn't. Re I couldn't really do that. I couldn't fake. Couldn't fake the gulp. Uh, <laughs> um, okay. Um, let's see. I think that maybe if pe maybe I do like two. I offer two. Maybe 150 bucks each, or you can certainly pay more. Um, and then the first people to put. Oh, Alexa, stop timer. That means that the silent auction is ending in five minutes. <laughs> 55. Thank you. You got a lot going on there, Alex. I, I do. Where's my charcuterie platter? Oh, here's my sourdough. Oh, God. And it's not good. Oh. Um, yeah. So what if maybe the first, uh, how about that? 150 bucks per video and the first two families to put in the chat that they want it? I think that sounds great. Make sure that you are chatting with all panelists and attendees. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of fun. Yeah, thank you. So Trisha, actually you, it's your turn to tell us about how the next part of the night is going to work, right? Yeah, I'll just. All right, so we've got two more videos before we get back uh, into the, the meat of it. And the first one was, I, I, I did, and the second one I'll tell you about in a second. So the first one is very short, but it's a thank you from Trisha and Eric. And I, I wasn't necessarily going to say this, but I feel like, I mean, I can't even see your reactions, so what the what the heck right uh doing this video was very heartwarming for me because you don't always have a connection or you're not able always able to talk with the principal and the assistant principal and every time i've talked with them i truthfully feel like they are connected with the school not just in a professional way as they should be but a personal one and when i was doing this video You'll see at one point Trish uh, breaks down because she hates talking about budget cuts. Like she gets, has a visceral reaction to it. She gets very upset about it. And that made me feel all the happier to be, see, I'm gonna start crying. That made me feel all the happier to be at this school. And then Eric just, as I said, I'm glad you didn't go with any of those other occupations because you care about the kids. And when those middle schoolers told me what they love about Bill Roberts, it was, it, amazing what they said. I was like, middle schoolers talk this way. Meanwhile, is it seven o'clock? Nope. Two more minutes till the silent auction is over. Sorry. I got distracted, but, um, anyway, so the first video is a thank you from them. And then the second one that we'll go right into was put together by Megan Lane, who is another a volunteer from Bill Roberts, a Bill Roberts mom. And if you don't have any tissues handy, you might want to get them handy. We have got one more minute, nope, two more minutes till uh, seven o'clock. Get your pictures in, get your last bids in, and here are the videos, and then we will get right into the heart of the auction. So I d devoted a lot of years and a lot of time into becoming a principal, and I'm still learning how to be the best principal I can. Um, and that's because I love my job. And being here is special. Being a part of Bill Roberts is something that, uh, I don't think I anticipated when I decided education is something I wanted to do. I love being around kids and I love our kids and I love the relationships I have with parents and in this community. Um, that really keeps me going. Right now, I love my job and I'm here and um, I couldn't do this without you guys. So I really appreciate you guys being a part of the school. Um, 
not just on the night of the auction, but like every other day. Uh, I, I really appreciate it. And that's, that's, why I'm, that's why I'm here and that's why I'm staying. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here this year. Um, I'm just going to talk to you from the bottom of my heart. And um, what we need this year more than ever is a partnership. We can't make the school what it is without you. It wouldn't be here. It doesn't. I'm a very small piece of that. What's a big piece of it is you and what you do for Bill Roberts. That's what really we are about. And um, this year, our partnership has meant more than any other year at all. We are all family. And that's really what makes Bill Roberts, Bill Roberts, um, is about us being together and working towards the same thing. But it's difficult. Money is definitely important now more so than ever because of budget cuts. We can't sustain our existing staff with the budget that we have. We just can't. We need help. We need the additional funding to um, to sustain our the number of people we have. And it's only because of you and your generosity that will allow us to do that. It's, that is the bottom line. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for all the things that you do for us. Bill Roberts has always been a special place. Amazing teachers. Incredible staff. A supportive community. Extra special specials. Not to mention, the best kids. And so much more. And then... Empty classrooms. Silent gyms. Even the library was too quiet. But even during the toughest of times, our teachers gave their best. We experienced real life superheroes. Our kids persevered like never before. We emerged stronger than ever as a Bill Roberts community. And while we're not back to normal, we are back to being amazing. In fact, never stopped being amazing, but today we need your help. Our state is facing significant budget cuts as a result of COVID-19, and our needs have never been greater. With your help, Bill Roberts can continue to be amazing. In 2020, in 2021, and beyond. Thank you for supporting our school. go to bidding we're going to check out a really cool video all right folks so check this out can i play with your own can i play with your own no you guys know the rules only one person who wins it at the auction gets to play with Rob. ready Rob? go we'll get it
All right, before we go to bidding on this one, we are going to take a look at the video. So here we go, check it out. Tired of date nights at home? Hey Steph, uh, time for date night at home. Okay, I feel like the kids are gonna be hungry uh, soon. Don't worry, I got that covered. We got brisket entree, Southwest style beef and black beans. Come and get it, guys. All right. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Hi, babe. I'm ready for date night. Got my best PJs on. So, what do you think? Netflix, Hulu. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever. Okay. I'm so bored. Do you want to play cards? No, what I'd like to do is go on a date. Oh, how fun would dates for a year be? Oh my God, that'd be so much fun. Let me get my mug. Um, that's my mug. What a great idea. You can win date nights for a year. And we don't mean in your house. All right, so here we go. Why would you want this in the morning? When you can have this. <laughs> My family's gonna win reserved parking from the auction. Minus! No, minus! 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 Dude, social distance. No need to fight. Just bid and you could win. We're going to take a look at this video, so check this out. Tired of this kind of vacation? Hey, babe. What's she doing? Just vacationing in my mind. All right. Well, you do you, babe. Enjoy your time. Party time! Calabunga! Well, how about a seven-night stay here? Instead, ooh la la. Alex, if you're still awake, if you're still out there, please take it away. Oh, Jim, wow, holy God. Excuse me, guys. Oh, hold on a second, hold on. Hello? What? No, we've been on the wait list since June. It can't be this difficult to get a Labradoodle. I do not understand. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you realize our name went on the list in June. Okay. Mm hmm Okay. Mm hmm mm hmm Yep. Aussie Doodle is our second choice. Just Labradoodle, please mm -hmm. let us. Oh, I. you know, I have to go. I'm in the middle of something. Just let me know when we're off the wait list, please. Thank you. Sorry, guys. Oh, my goodness. Before I got that call telling me that we are still on the wait list for a Labradoodle. And by the way, I blame you, Central Park people. I was freaking out over here. I'm in my in my mudroom here going, yes. Oh, my God. And then I'm crying and then I'm laughing and I'm screaming and I'm texting and I'm going just absolutely crazy. This is Incredible, Jim, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being our auctioneer tonight. And I mean, it's only 8.15, should we just keep going? Wait, is it 8.15? No, it's later. No, it's 8.15. Oh my gosh, this has been an incredible night. And I feel like we've been together even though, even though we haven't been. I mean, through the chat and just sort of just feeling your energy. And I can only imagine how you are feeling, Nikki. Nikki Parrish, auction chair. Are you out there? Have you passed out by now? Are you, what is happening? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm like sweating and crying and oh my gosh. Um, I'm feeling a lot of feels over here. <laughs> uh, it has been such an incredible night. Um, oh my gosh, like my heart is, is so full and I am just like, so, so grateful. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, uh, uh, okay. So I have to tell you that one of the chats that came in, 
was uh, somebody suggested that in case somebody wasn't donating the $50 or they didn't get what they wanted, that in honor of this year, this neck, this year that we're in 2021, being the hopeful year that it is, that we add a button, and I think we did, if you refresh your, your phones, you refresh your browser, that there's a, a button for $21. So if anybody didn't bid or you feel like, ah, what the heck, I'll just donate another 21 or 42 or whatever it is. I thought that that was a really, a really nice idea because some people who maybe didn't, couldn't bid tonight or, or didn't get what they wanted, maybe they want to give another 21 bucks. So anyway, that, uh, that button is now on, on the phones. And I just, um, I, I don't know. I just can't believe what an incredible night it's been. Uh, and Nikki, you should be so proud of yourself. And 80 Tate, again, a huge shout out to you. And I know, Nikki, that you're going to give some thanks. But I also know that we have to see the photos from tonight, the mm-hmm. pandemic pod photos and the auction outfit. So can we see them? Yes, I'm so excited. Um, so everyone out there, um, Tanya Duffy has been working behind the scenes Um And she's been taking all of the photos you guys submitted and she's been putting them together and she is going to share those with us now. So hi, Tanya. I couldn't say no to. (laughs) (laughs) And look, he's wearing his spirit wear too. He's wearing his spirit wear. He's rocking out. (laughs) And the the best thing about Bill Roberts is the kids. Nikki, so I know before we sign off, we have to we have to verbally thank our sponsors because seriously, they took some pressure off of, of the fundraising, right? Oh my gosh. They, they did. And Senko building services. Finally sustain mortgage and realty deter and the pooch mobile. Ah, the pooch mobile. Uh, Alex, you can use that for your labradoodle. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just in or something. Just <laughs> let me know. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, thank you. Thank you, sponsors. Um, okay. Well, Alex, I know that you are about to sign off for the night. Um, thank you so much for everything, but I have to share with you and with everyone. Um, guys, we raised over $90,000 tonight. Um, I like literally could cry. <laughs> um, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, no, that, that, could have, that could have hurt, but it didn't. Oh, oh, oh my man. God. Are you kidding me? No, guys. Oh, oh my amazing. gosh. You guys, thank you. Thank you to that. Uh, wow. I am. Oh my gosh. Uh, Nikki, awesome job. Thank you for letting me be a part of this. And thanks to everybody out there. I wish that we could see you, but we will see you again. I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to sign off and let you close out the night. I know we have a couple more videos to show at the end, which are super sweet and um, thank you. This has been great. Bye, Alex. So thank you so much. And, um, I actually have two extra special thank yous. Um, this to AD Tate and Alex share, um, you two are just so, so generously giving of your time. And Alex, you have such talent. I mean, these videos tonight were amazing. They made me laugh. They made me cry. Um, and, you were the most spectacular MC. So thank you. 